In this video, I'm going to show you the quick way to find your original photos and your photo files that are uh, that make up your photos library in the Photos app and how to make copies of them or edit them in other applications. So first off, I'm in Photos right now, but we're going to move this out of the way and we're going to go to the Finder and we'll go to, uh, let's see, Pictures and then you'll find your Photos library. Um, mine is called Photos Library Mine, but the default name will be Photos Library. So what you want to do is come here and you want to right mouse click and select Show Package Contents or select the uh, library then use hold down the control key and click and you'll find show package contents again so if you select that you will find what makes up your photo library so basically it's like a it's like a directory with all of the images and everything that makes up your photo library now when you're in here you want to be very careful not to mistakenly delete things, move things around, or rename anything because that will affect your photo library. So, with that out of the way, let's go to Masters. Now, Masters is going to be where your original files and your images are. If I open this up, it's it's create it's um it's built by date. So, for example, if I look at 2017 and then by month, and I can look at April, and then here by day, I can see on the 24th um, I imported a bunch of files, and if I open up any of these, you can find all of your original um, files, your images that were imported from your from your camera. So in this case, I was shooting uh, on this day in RAW and JPEG, so I have two files for each, RAW. You can see the file names the same except for the extension. CR2 is the, uh, I think that's uh, Canon RAW and then my JPEG image. So once you have these, uh, you can move these out and you wanna be very careful because you want to create a copy of it. You don't wanna move it because then it won't be in your photos library and it will appear broken in your photos library when you're in photos because you only have the thumbnail, you won't actually have the file anymore. So what I do is I drag it out and I hold down the option key, it gives me a plus sign and that creates a copy. Of course you can do a copy, um, let's see, I can do a copy and paste, I think. Yeah, copy and then paste it to wherever you want to go. So once it's out of here, uh, then I can edit this in a different application. So if I wanted to edit this in Photoshop, I can choose uh, Open With. For some reason, that's taking a really long time to load. Um, but usually that comes up quick, and it's probably a little off screen for you. But I can choose uh, Photoshop. It'll launch Photoshop. For some reason, it couldn't be open. Let's try that again. Let's do this. Open with uh, Photoshop. It'll launch Photoshop. And then it gives me Photoshop and I can edit the image here. So uh, yeah, that's one way. So I can go and edit the image in whatever application I want it to. Or if maybe you're not editing it, maybe you're you know moving away from photos to another application. Um, but either way, that's how you move your files out. Now, if you, I, I will mention that if you do edit this image in another application, obviously it's not going to be reflected in the Photos application because you didn't actually edit the image. So when I go and use a, another app um, like Photoshop or what's that name of the app, uh, On One, or any of the others um, to edit an image, um, what I usually do is I, I rename the image something different like Tom and then I go up here and I can drag it in and it will import this image back into my photo library and I will have two images one the original and one that was edited okay so I'm not gonna do that right now but also if you wanted to move them out in mass let's say you were creating a backup or you wanted to upload you know a whole day's worth of images to Flickr or whatever you can drag again this out make sure you're creating a copy so it creates a copy and you can you know, send, uh, you can create all, the, you can, sorry, move all these images out to your desktop, to your Mac, to a thumb drive, or wherever, wherever you want to put it. And then uh, at that point, you're on your own. So that's just a quick way um, so that you can find your original file, your original photos files, including the raw images, and move them out of your, create a copy of them, and move the copy out to your Mac, 
so it does not disturb your photos library and edit them or back it or back them up or upload them to Flickr or whatever you want to do. So I hope that's helpful.